Hi everyone, it's Julie Tutoring here. Today we are going to be looking at the grade 11 math curriculum in Ontario, Canada. And we are going to be looking at the topic of families of quadratic functions. Okay, so just to clarify, um, this video is geared towards people who are taking the Ontario curriculum in Canada. However, you can feel free to still watch the video if you're not situated in this province in, Can in Ontario, in the province of Ontario in Canada. Don't worry, I'm just aiming to help everyone, but this is who the specific topic is geared towards, and I think I should just make that known beforehand. Alright, so let's get into it. So we should know from grade 10 that there are three different ways of expressing a quadratic function. We can write it in x-intercept form, in vertex form, or in um, standard form. So we're going to be looking at each of those different forms and how um, different um, quadratic functions written in these forms can be related. Okay. So let's start off by looking at x-intercept form. And we can express x-intercept form like this. So y is equal to a times x minus r times x minus s. So looking at this, we can say that if the value of a is varied, in a quadratic function expressed in x intercept form, then we create a family of parabolas. with the same x-intercepts. Okay, simple enough. So moving on to our next um, form, we have vertex form, which can be expressed like this y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So if the value of a is varied in a quadratic function expressed in vertex form, then a family of parabolas with the same vertex and axis of symmetry is created. All right, simple enough. So moving on to our last form, which is standard form, which we can write like this, y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. All right, so based on this, we can say if the values of a and b are oops sorry i dropped something are varied in a quadratic function expressed in standard form
Then a family of parabolas. with the same y-intercept is created. Okay. Okay, so now let's go through some examples involving what we've just discussed. So in example one, Let's say I have the equations y is equal to x minus 5 times x plus 2. And I have y is equal to 2 times x minus 5 times x plus 2. And then I also have y is equal to, let's say, negative 4x minus 5x plus 2. Looking at this, I can see that these um, three quadratic functions are written in x-intercept form. And since I am varying the value of a here, um, I know that all of these are going to have the same x-intercepts. And that family, this family of quadratic functions has the same x-intercepts. Okay, moving on to example two. I have the equations y is equal to 2x minus 1 squared plus 3, y is equal to 4x minus 1 squared plus 3, and y is equal to 1 half x minus 1 squared plus 3. Here I can see that these quadratic functions are written in vertex form. So I know that because in vertex form here I can look and see that my value of a is being varied in this format and I can deduce based on that that these are going to have the same vertex and same axis of symmetry. So that's what I can deduce about this family here in example two. And lastly, let's look at our third example, example three. Okay, in example three, I have y equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 2. y is equal to 4x squared plus 11x plus 2. And y is equal to 7x squared plus 7x plus 2. Okay, so I know that these quadratic functions are written in standard form, and I can deduce based on this, um, because my values of a and b are being varied, that because of that, this forms a family of parabolas with the same y-intercept. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. This is a simpler topic, but I hope it provides some clarification for those of you who might be confused. Um, if you want or need any extra questions you need to clarify, feel free to comment below or send me an email at tarulitutoring at gmail.com and I will do my best to respond to you. Um, besides that, thank you for supporting me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!